Game on. Hi everybody, just home from work once again on my uh, At Games Legends Ultimate Machine. Loaded up some Crazy Climber. Again, I'm still doing testing on this new beta firmware which lets you connect to your Raspberry Pi or PC over Bluetooth using uh, two joysticks. So games like Robotron 2084 and uh, Crazy Climber should work. So let's give it a try. I'm going to put in some coins here. And we'll try it up. Crazy Climber is always a difficult to game to use with the joysticks. Whoops. There we go. Uh oh, pots. Now it looks like all eight directions of both joysticks are working okay in Crazy Climber. I have noticed, uh, which I'll show you in a little bit, the Robotron 2084. I can get my man to go in eight directions, my Robotron man, but the firing only seems to work in four directions. I can't get the diagonals to work with the firing. But again, this is a beta firmware, and I have let uh, at games know that's the case. You're being brutal today. No! <laughs> well, I'm almost there. Oh, I didn't quite make it to the top. But it's a little difficult standing off from the side versus standing where I want to stand, but you wouldn't see anything if I'm standing right here. So the Crazy Climber does work, the controllers do work, they bind okay, uh, all eight directions in Crazy Climber. But if I escape out of Crazy Climber here, okay, I'm launching now Robotron 2084, and again, I've, the controls set up the same way as I had in Crazy Climber. And in Crazy Climber, I was able to get all eight directions to function properly in all uh, both sticks. But for some reason in Robotron, no matter what emulator I do, or how I configure it. I only get four directions on my shooting, but I do get eight directions on my man. I'll show you right now. Again, this is still a beta. You see my guy will walk in any direction I want, but the firing is only limited to four directions. And I've tried a, a multitude of different emulators uh, inside a RetroPie from uh, Advanced MAME, 
all the way up to MAME uh, 2016. I mean, you can still absolutely play it, but your difficulty level is definitely up a lot higher than if you were able to shoot in all eight directions. So you can see it's still definitely playable, but it's definitely a lot harder, that's for sure. So I did report to, I did report to that games on, on second joystick. In this particular game, I'm only getting four directions, but yet in Crazy Climb, I am getting all uh, eight directions. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. But let's see a couple of other games you can play here once you're connected with Bluetooth uh, and a RetroPie. Definitely one of the games that has stuck around for a very long time is Dragon's Lair. And it's actually really cool seeing Dragon's Lair playing on the at games Legends Ultimate. Uh, but if you have a Raspberry Pi connected and you have an image with uh, LaserDisc games on it, like Dragon's Lair, we see it here, um, it's going to play. And uh, let's give it a try and see how it goes. was never very good at this game, I'll tell you that right now. Oops. See, it's all about the timing. I went in the right direction, but it wasn't the right time to do it. Now, what's really cool is that Replicate is actually making a small Dragon's Lair, which was on Kickstarter, and I definitely backed that. Even though I don't play it very well, as you can see, I still like the, uh, the game itself. Sometimes watching the desk is actually just as good as playing the game. Well, let's see what other games we can try. Another well-loved dual joystick game would be Smash TV. Have to try this game out, so let's go. Bingo! Let's go! Diagonal seem to be working in here fairly well. Good. 
Bingo! Try a little bit more of this game. Not too bad. So once again, you seem to have a lot of options here with this at games Legends Ultimate. We'll be making more videos on this soon, but I just wanted to show you the Bluetooth controller and the new bay that's going on. It lets you use two joysticks to play games like Smash TV, Crazy Climber, and Robotron. I want to thank you all for watching for right now. Until next time, remember, game on.